Here are my five reasons not to buy a home. Number one, you're stuck. When you buy a home, you're committing to a 15 or 20 or even a 30 year mortgage payment. That means that you're stuck in that house. And besides, if you have an apartment or rent a house, after a year, you may be month to month, you can leave whenever you wanna leave. Now, sure, you can sell a house and get out of that long term mortgage that you have, but if you don't sell it and you just walk away, you could be on the hook for tens of thousands of dollars to whoever has the mortgage on your house. And speaking of all those dollars, it could take almost $20,000 or more to buy a home. That's right. Number two is the cash that you would be out. If you want to buy a $300,000 home, you'd be looking at 3% down payment, $9,000. You'd also be looking at another three to four or 5% on closing costs and prepaids. That could be another 10, 11, $12,000. So it would take you $20,000 or more to buy a $300,000 home. And if you want one for three hundred and fifty dollars or for $400,000, that'd be a lot of money. Let's see, for $20,000, I could spend at least two months on the beach. That would be awesome. That's where I would want to put my money is spending that time on the beach, laying in a chair under the umbrella, just listening to the waves crash. That'd be awesome. But instead of that, number three, I'm going to be taking care of the house. I got to be cutting the grass. I've got to be getting the roof cleaned off. I've got to pick up limbs after a storm. I've got to power wash the driveway. I got to take care of it. If I own a home, not only am I stuck, am I going to be at a lot of money, I'm going to be putting a lot of time in taking care of the house. And if I'm not taking care of something, number four, I'm having to fix something. What happens if the air conditioner goes out as the summer starts warming up or the heat goes out when it starts getting cold in the winter and I try to turn it on? I'm responsible for fixing those things. If I rent something somewhere, all I've got to do is call the landlord and say, hey, air your conditioner's not working, the heater's not working. Now, it may take them a while to fix it, but it's up to them to fix that. Oh yeah, and it's up to the apartment complex to keep the grass cut. Now, if I'm renting somewhere, I might have to keep the grass cut, which was back to number three of taking care of the place. But if I'm in an apartment, man, they do it all. And the fifth reason not to buy a house is, I don't care about building my wealth. That's right, I don't care that part of my mortgage payment goes toward the principal that allows me to build wealth in the home. And I don't care that over time, my home value goes up through appreciation. All that's gonna be building wealth for me. Man, I don't want that. I just want the freedom of being able to live where I wanna live and save my money and spend it on vacations. I don't wanna have to worry about cutting the grass or fixing the air conditioner or painting the outside of the house. I don't wanna do any of that kind of stuff. So I'm confident to not buy a home right now. Now, if you wanna know more about five reasons to buy a home, watch my next video. I'm Jeff Jones, a realtor with EXP Realty. You can find more information at midsouth.homes or meetjeffnow.com. Have a blessed day.